Hi there, this is Sivan Asmoor for Virtual Skills. In this particular video, I'm going to be walking you through how you can create your blog in Nigeria. In other form, you can see how to start a blog here in Nigeria. And this video gives a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create your blog in three simple steps. Number one, you research a profitable niche space or industry. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to choose a domain name and hosting. And of course, the third thing you want to do is to install and structure WordPress CMS, CMS meaning content management system for your blog. And then of course, I give you a bonus on how you can write and publish your first post. Okay, so now let's quickly get down and, and start. Uh, like I said, the first thing is we want to research a profitable niche space in an industry. You need to specifically position yourself for a particular industry and a niche where you can most likely succeed on with your new blog okay so the first thing we want to do is um we want to quickly get down to microsoft word and um the first thing we want to do is we want to say what topics do people search for that are related to my business in this particular case, we are looking at things that relate to dog, dog food, dog training, vet probably, and all that. If you watched my first video, how to create a website in Nigeria, there we had, um, okay, let's just quickly jump down and just see it. Okay, I created this uh, particular tutorial. Okay, and let's just quickly rush down to see. Okay, over here you can see we had dogfoodng.com. So, stuff we want to be doing it has to do with dog food. okay so um, we want to quickly rush down here to Microsoft Word or whatever what editor or text editor you wish you could also use um, notepad if you like but in this case we want to use uh, Microsoft Word so that we can be able to check out certain topics or words or phrases that people search for in Google that relate to our business okay the first thing here I want to just type is we want to try as much as possible to generate keywords that are not just narrow in nature, that are broad in nature so that we can be able to get reasonable or sizable. Okay, so that's um, uh, about all that you can do here right now. And um, of course you can go wild and see how much of the ideas you can generate around your industry, okay? and um, get um, a lot of ideas, related ideas. You need to be very careful of that. That should be your guide and your reference. Okay, the next thing also we want to do to generate ideas. Remember, we're just doing more like an hypothetical setup here. Okay, and um, of course, we, we're still going to confirm if um, those things has uh, all these um, keywords that we just generated out of the blues uh, will really meet up with our business purpose remember i mentioned trek which is traffic relevance commerciality and competition i don't want both comes first either competition or commerciality in which way you want to put it okay so uh, the next kind of action we want to do now is i want to get back here and um, see what we can get out of naira land okay so here let's just put let's just say dog pets or this Let's, okay, let's look at Nairland's um, categories, uh, crime, romance, career, investments, car, health, culture. Okay, pets. You see, pets coming down to Nairland also gives you some form of ideas of uh, the kind of categories that you can, you know, you can get into. And once you click there, you can be able to get more ideas that gives you more streamlined areas that you can talk about and that you can write about in your space so this further authenticates the industry that you're going into if it's pets if it's agriculture if it's entertainment science and technology you want to be a webmaster so all these categories here shows you because of course we all know naira land is more of an established uh, platform here in nigeria okay and of course you're writing blogs and people write a lot of things um, on Naira Land and Naira Land generates a lot of great uh, traffic. Okay, remember that particular T in our trek that guides us in our acronym that we call trek. 
Nitus. Okay, so uh, instead of putting dog here, let's put a more broader term um, pets. So let's just do pets and see what we can get from Nairoland and add it up. Okay, so let's say search. Okay, so um, this one gives us idea. Okay, into people are talking about. So here we'll see pets. Okay, here it just help us generate more ideas. So let's just say dog okay gem female german shepherd okay so okay so let's try to generate ideas female german shepherd is one let's see the major topic here it says so yes female german shepherd is refusing to be crossed okay, so 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 this one we could come back here and add this to our keyword okay so let's just say german shepherd Okay, then let's get back. Some similar thing touched me here. Crossed. Okay, so um, let's get back and say um, dog crossing. Okay, so that's that about that. I think we are almost there right now, and um, we can with the keywords that we have. The next thing we want to do now is we want to jump into a keyword research tool in this particular uh, course here we're going to be using the google uh, tool okay so let's get down here overview okay of course before you get down to uh, using the google keyword planner sorry it's called the google keyword planner okay here that's where we're going to do some research into all those keywords that we've generated out of the blues and not just out of the blues going to narrow land and not just don't limit yourself to narrow land of course you could experiment other uh, platforms other platforms uh, and you can get down to wikipedia you can get down to reddit you can get down to um, quite a lot of online platforms okay, okay that you could um you could generate ideas from okay and i will help you with your research okay so but for now um, and, and our time frame let's just limit ourselves with what we have of course that doesn't constrain you from exploring other areas uh, when it has to do with uh, researching your work okay so this is just basically a guide so of course coming back here to google adwords okay a uh, google adwords have a platform where you can advertise your business Okay, but we are not stopping ourselves with all that. In my former videos, I've done uh, stuff that has to do with Google AdWords, delved deep into it. Um, you could uh, make reference to it much later. Okay, and uh, in this particular case, we are focusing on the Google Keyword Planner. Okay, so we get down to Google Keyword Planner, click on it. Of course, before you get this, you have to open uh, a Google uh, account where you sign in okay so now it says discover new keywords get search volume and focus of course if we're searching for new keywords we come here but in this particular case we are searching for keywords that we've got out of the blues and from some other platform okay so um, Nairoland of course so let's get down here and say search get search volume and focus okay so what we want to quickly do is we want to just quickly pick all this and copy them out and get back here and um, paste it okay so uh, and so let's say we get started okay here it has loaded up and we're seeing all our, our keywords that we got dog, dog crossing, dog food, and all that, and so. And here, this, these are the particular keywords that we generated, and this is the average monthly searches, which shows you how many people goes ahead to search for that particular one every blessed month. Okay, so um, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to just click this place here. Okay, so it shows you that every blessed month dog gets an average monthly search of 1 million to 10 million and it's telling you that the competition is a little bit low. The advert share is this. Okay, so 
um now the next thing we want to do is we want to edit we want to edit we are not in the united states remember we are writing uh the the this particular exercise is all about how you can start your blog here right here in nigeria so we are not in the united states of america i'm going to come back here and change our location so we can remove america search okay let's come and search nigeria okay so say nigeria as a country we say target nigeria as a country and we save it okay so of course you're going to see it's going to change okay so you see now specifically for now for nigeria that that's the, the first one for america was within 10 1 million to 10 million but right here in nigeria it's within 10,000 to 100,000 show, showing you that the competition is low the hard impression is not given the top of page bid if you are advertising is 0 0.18 per click for anybody clicking on that and then here we have um, top page top of page bid 0 0.48 okay so here we are saying for german shepherd you see that and of course you will also try some other dog breeds like um, Rot rottweilers and all that you can all kind of copy that okay so i just quickly want to just give you a rough idea of you can go as much as you can countless number of ideas that you can generate from what uh from from your own experience from what you know you're offering from what you know clients are searching for from what your experience interacting with customers are and um, of course not just that you practically go down online search google search wikipedia go down to local websites in nigeria you know um, get down to to some e-commerce websites and search and you know get ideas incorporate them and then come back here to search for the volume okay so here we're saying that you know we have dog uh, uh dog uh, german shepherd and all that okay so what we want to quickly do is we want to of course go for such high keywords okay so we want to go for dog food blah 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 and blah so so let's 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 say we're, we're, we're going to be writing topics around german shepherd dog food a dog meeting all around in nigeria so we want to choose this remember this is just a guide okay of course once you, you do your research you will have more keywords and you will also be lucky to have keywords that have higher average monthly search in terms of volume okay so that's that for that we've been able to uh, come up with um, keyword ideas reasonably uh, in terms of traffic in terms of this is where we're talking about traffic this area shows us the volume um, uh, relevance of course you will know if uh, any particular uh, keyword is not relevant to your business and um, you have to also check if the competition is high or low and then how, how commercially viable is that particular keyword okay so after we've done this the next thing we want to quickly do is we want to just take this particular keyword here let's check if this particular keyword is commercially viable so we'll get back here and we'll say this okay so let's see uh, let's just say dog nigeria okay um okay here we're saying um we're not seeing much um advert on it okay not, not much advert on it okay and then the next thing you okay let's just remove nigeria just say dog enter okay okay so you know you've seen all this all this also gives you ideas of what you want you of what you can write about on your new uh on your on your new blog okay so blah 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 all this you know pricing of dogs different dog dog um breeds some names here I've not heard of before. Okay, so here you want to just see, you know, and check around and see. And of course, you once you scroll down, remember we're still talking about generating ideas and researching a profitable niche. Okay, here you could see that um, under uh, related searches, you have uh, dog in 3D, dog meaning, 
dog drawing dog video dog names dogs for sale you know and all this also gives you further ideas of uh, taking uh, particular keyword phrases that you're going to be using for your your new blog okay so and of course you can also rinse and repeat you can just right click on this okay well, let's say we want to say dog names probably someone has a dog and they don't know the name they want to give them okay, you could come here and generate ideas and say okay you could write a, a blog post one or 100 ideas for dog for for your dog for to name your dog or whatever okay so you could write a blog around around that or you know yeah, an effort to generate um ideas for the blog okay and then when you scroll down also okay so you see from one idea from this dog idea okay when we, once we scroll down we came down to the latent semantic index this is what we mean by the latent semantic index okay showing you uh, keywords that are related to dog that people are also searching for okay so if we do this and click and give a little space you see that this particular uh, keyword is with what we call google suggest google suggests okay let's let's remove all these ones that are there before okay so let's just say dog okay so here you're seeing this also gives you ideas of how you can research a profitable niche for your industry okay you see all these keywords the all these drop down keywords google is coming right directly from the host's mouth which is google of course this is where everybody comes to search for um, whatever whatever their interest is okay here you see dog grace dog name dog pictures dog a prize blah 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 all this also gives you ideas into what you can uh, write about and how you can incorporate it into your um, your your the new blog that you're creating more like as as categories of things that you can write about okay so that's that for that we have shown you how you could you know generate um, um you know research a profitable niche you know in whatever space that you're at okay and um that that's that goes that's the, that's the, that's the first step now the next step is we want to choose a domain name and hosting okay now let's get down to step two step two here we're going to choose a domain name and hosting okay if you've gone through my first guide on how to create a website in nigeria this won't be strange to you but i'll take time to walk you through this once again so let's get started okay i'm not going to go much into details of this because i've already done i'm still going to refer you just just going to move uh, fast okay so but wait once you go down the process of getting a, de a domain name and hosting remains the same as the earlier video i did on how to create a website in nigeria okay so let's say one of those look for um dog ng okay um, dog ng dot um, or dog nigeria let's just see dog nigeria let's see how it dog nigeria let's come so we search okay we'll see it's, it's available for 4800 but of course you have quite a lot of options here that you can explore and go with that, that suits you okay so um of course once you do that you, you can add to cart to buy that particular domain for your blog okay so of course here you can add additional features to your blog okay dns management id and of course um it goes with the price this is for free this is not for free you, you can choose to add all that and then you say continue after you've done all, all that added you get your total you say you know, check out okay the process remains the same as uh, i said earlier okay you complete your order by you know, by you say you, of course you, you know, so it goes this error um, blah 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 please correct the following errors okay of course it's going to show some errors this one is provided okay 
So you can see I have read you know, and, um, what other errors. You must accept our terms of service. That was the error. Okay, this particular um, uh, box here that I didn't click. So, um, and of course, you choose your preferred. Uh, you want to pay with card, you want to do with pay, uh, um, pay stack, also card, or you want to do bank deposit. So, whatever suits you, whatever you're comfortable with, you do. So, you say you complete your order. Okay, so much of all these I've covered in video is just still the same thing. The only difference is that you're creating a blog, it's all the same process. So, I would recommend you make reference to that particular video and um, follow the steps. Okay, so you can now say pay now. Of course, uh, once you're paying now, it gives you all the details for you to pay. And um, once you've paid, they send you an email for the details of what you want to do. So here you see the total amount you're paying. Of course, you can add your, your card number, the validity, and uh, the, your CVV, which is the number right behind your card, your credit card. And you could say, remember this card if you wish. If you're on a safe device, you could opt in for that. But if not, you just leave it as it is. And send your payment once you send your payment you're going to send your details to your email account and um, you're going to get the details to your control panel and um, once you get it as your your details to your your control panel you could do anything you want to do okay so let's get back here let's close all that okay let's go back okay after after your the details okay after the details may have been sent to you by email the next thing you want to do is you want to get down to your domain name of course remember the domain name we purchased was dognigeria.com of course like i mentioned earlier also in the first tutorial i did okay it's not going to be this okay because of for demonstration purposes it was, that's why i'm using this Okay, it's going to have your own it's going to have um, dognigeria.com here after so and um, they're going to give me the c panel or the control panels for my brand new blog okay um, by email and so then i can incorporate all the stuff i want to and um, login Of course, we get down also to software clause. It's okay, so it's still um, the same thing. I said never. Okay, so let's get down to software clause. Of course, we're using WordPress. Okay, recall I said um, there are of course a thousand and one other platform that you can use in creating your your blog. Okay, but of course WordPress is the most popular and SEO friend SEO as in search engine optimization when it has to do with digital marketing friendliness and all that. So you want to go with a good popular you know content management system it will give you what you want when it has to do with traffic, it has to do with relevance. So we have to do add commerciality and good competition and a friendly interface and the house a lot of features for you to make your work as a blogger lot easier okay so let's get down and see wordpress here okay of course all this you've seen before so well, i just want to quickly go down and say um okay install now okay of course recall i said um like i mentioned also in the, in the earlier video that if we're going this route it's going to be dognigeria.com but for this demonstration purposes, we're going to be putting our blog in a subdirectory that we're going to call dog Nigeria. Okay. And so let's say um, let's copy dog Nigeria. Okay. Um, everything that has to do. Dog in Nigeria. Okay, so um, not much is 
still the same thing and all that. Let's get down. Say dog Nigeria. Leave it as pass password. Okay. Um, the theme. Let's leave the theme to default. Default 2021 theme. And of course, same process like the first one we did how to create a website in Nigeria. Seal. Gmail.com. You input your email, the email that you want to get details of your WordPress installation for your blog this time around. Okay, so now let's get down and say install. So it's going to be up in a few minutes. Okay, so it's there already. So you can now tweet to the world if you like. And of course, here is showing us uh, WordPress has successfully installed at wordpress.com for slash dog Nigeria. And the admin is this. Okay, so let's just try this out by right clicking on this and open it, open it on a new tab. Okay, so we're seeing this here. Okay, so we see you know we have this is our first um, this is how the blog is gonna look like. So hello world. And of course, it's under uh, no category. Okay, so let's let's get back here and also uh, see it's gonna look like no no no. Let's see the administrative um, uh, URL where we can log directly into our blog back end the dashboard of WordPress. So beautifully, we're here, and so this is the WordPress. Um, uh, this is the WordPress platform. WordPress Recall, we said, is a content management system that we're going to be using in creating content for our new blog. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. Also, we're done here. Okay, so we are done with this. And so the next thing we want to do now is I just want to give you a bonus tip, okay, of how you can quickly write and publish your first post. Okay. Okay, the next one to quickly do as a very critical factor after we have installed our WordPress content management system for our brand new blog is that we want to structure our blog to be able to accommodate everything that we did initially, okay, to accommodate the different categories of what we are going to be writing for our blog. Okay, so let's get back here and say... Um, okay, let's just quickly sign out and sign in and see how everything is working. Okay, so um, we're done here. Let's log out. Okay, and then we're going to log back in again. Okay, so remember, um, is um, dog Nigeria and the password we call. Oh, we're setting it up, says pass. Okay, so let's log in. So we're back to the said never. Okay, so we are back here right, right now. Now, okay, so we want to quickly just get down to see how we can structure our blog. Okay, so let's get down to say, um, this how do we structure our blog? First thing you want, you want to get down to post and say categories. Okay, so let's just briefly do something. Okay, let's add a category. Okay, the name of the category. So, before we add the name of the category, let's quickly get back to what we did initially by coming down here and searching for um, generating ideas randomly out of the blues okay and also coming down to google ad adword our uh, google adwords and the feature that has the keyword planner to help us check up the keywords that we're generating for our blog okay and then we'll want to look at different categories here and then the next thing we want to do is we want to see how we can structure our blog for different categories okay so here we look the next thing we want to look at is we want to see okay a german shepherd has a lot of volume after dog and so we say um german shepherd ten thousand two hundred thousand okay so we want to get back to our blog here and try and create something around dog breed dog breed okay so if you like you put anything there um, category non description if you like and you know you can add that category okay so very soon you're, you're going to understand 
why we're doing all this. I'm going to cite an example. We're going to write something around that. Okay, then the next thing we want to also come down and look is we want to see um, something that, okay, so we probably we'll say dog care or pet care as another category. Recall vividly that we are, we are still in, the st in step three and we're trying to structure our blog to accommodate different posts that we're going to be posting so that they all fall under a relevant category for our blog. Okay, that we call dog Nigeria. Okay, that's the main heading. Okay, so then the next thing what we say we want to do here is we want to say dog care or pet care. Okay, but since we're very um, specific, let's just do dog care. Dog care. Oh, sorry, I'm going to put care. Okay, so add it as a category. Here you can see um, that we have dog care, dog breed. Okay, so um, what next? be a, a beautiful idea we could oh dog training dog training okay that's another beautiful one there um that we can write about as a category dog training okay we can add that okay so you can go on and on adding different categories of what you want so for instance you can have a, a strategy of how to train dogs not to pull on your couch and write something about it and let it be on that dog training. Probably um, like I have some dogs some couple of time ago that dogs around me are always attacked with ticks and all that. So you could write an article of how you, you can take care of ticks and it will be under dog care. And dog breeds, of course, you recall when we went down here, we have something like German Shepherd and all additionally by extension also, we also came down to um, Ireland, where we had something like, like a challenge that under pay two years, female German Shepherd is refusing to be crossed. That is a beautiful blog post idea we could write about. Okay, so that ends that. So the next bonus tip I want to quickly give you is how to write and publish your first post. So let's get cracking. Okay, as promised, in this particular uh, section, we're quickly going to see how. We can write and publish our first post on a brand new blog. Okay, recall vividly again. Let me quickly recall that. Uh, of course, we have our dog. Of course, I've already explained why it's this way. Okay, nurtureskills.net is was used as for for demonstration purposes. Ordinarily, it should be dognigeria.com forward slash your WordPress login or WordPress admin. Okay, so what we want to quickly do now to write our write and publish our first blog post is we want to you know we want to log into our wordpress uh, dashboard so we'll see wp admin enter okay your first thing is you want to log in and um, dog nigeria and remember we've not changed the password to pass uh, please be reminded to change this particular password for your own security. Okay, so let's get down there. They're logging in and it's showing us showing us that. Okay, first, we want to quickly get down to posts. Okay, this is how you can write and publish your first post so, and how to get um, ensure that you whatever post you're writing, you're not just writing it out of the blues. You've done your research and is targeted at a confirmed keyword that generates volume that has good relevance to your blog and that has uh, good commercial intent and does has low competition Are you okay so let's get down and see all posts oh sorry we say add new posts adding a new post yeah of course in adding a new post um, you're going to come up your first time you're going to see this dialogue that wants to help you to structure your blog so that it looks beautiful you can you know so it says welcome to the blog sector uh so the blog editor in the wordpress um, editor each paragraph image is presented as a distinct block of content where you can customize them you can add videos you can add images text and all sorts of multimedia that you want to to make your blog post interesting okay so then we'll say next okay we'll say next so next started so now the first thing is we want to carve out a beautiful headline okay so let's get back ensure that we're not doing anything out of the blues we are looking at german shepherd and we are looking at an existing post on naira land that says um so let's just say uh 
German Shepherd is refusing to be crossed. So let's just say we want to write a post about two years female German Shepherd, or let's just say German Shepherd, a guide to crossing. Is that is that would that be good? Or let's say German Shepherd, a guide to a guy a guide to crossing. Let's let's just put it that way, because of course we've um, already authenticated that this the German Shepherd breed has good, beautiful um, monthly searches. So we are in a good sphere in terms of traffic. Okay, so we want to get back here to our, our title and say German Shepherd a guy to person. Okay, so here we are we are we are not just writing um, blog post out of the blues, we have researched carefully, taking our time to research those particular keywords, not just from anywhere, but from the from the horses marks themselves. That's that's Google. Okay, we've we've researched it and we've also seen that a lot of people are having challenges with this. Recall that your blog post, whatever thing you're writing, you're ensuring that you're solving a problem, an existing problem, you know, making it more more easier for people that are searching for such items to find out. You're creating a complete guide to it okay for as a guide also you could read through what uh, people's comments are their challenges and that that should form a part of what you are going to write here okay but for demonstration purposes we're just going to just uh, you know get down to google just get down to google and just put that this this is i'm not advising you do um, a copy and paste okay plagiarism is a crime i don't support that you know, most of my uh, blog posts are original content where I share my practical experience. So if you're doing this, if you're in this industry, you're in this space, ensure that you write great content that are unique, okay, to you, your own experience, someone's unique experience about it, uh, proven uh, researches about it, you know, so that's all, that's all you need to do. And so we say, you know, um, of course, you could get, you know, stuffs, you know, around, blah, blah, blah. You know, you could get ideas. I'm not saying this is exactly what you should do, but this is just to give you a, an idea, you know, into what you want to, um, what you want to do, you know. Okay. So, the here, then we can start writing. Okay. So, um, here, I want to say, this is a complete guide on how you can cross German Shepherd without hassles. Okay, so um, I don't know much about all that. I just want to, to cause uh, so I just want to just copy all this stuff. Copy all this stuff. Copy them. Them in, um, in a in notes part so that I can take off whatever styling it has, whatever font style it has. Take it back to default, copy. Okay, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Please don't copy and paste other people's um, uh, original content, write yours. Okay, so I just paste that. Okay, so I have my content there. I can, you know, um, um, one other thing called our work for this particular post is German Shepherd. Okay, and so you ensure that uh, your German Shepherd keyword is, is found in the first 100 words. Okay, here, here we see German Shepherd here, German Shepherd here, because, um, of course, once um, uh, uh, search engines, you know, get to crawl this particular page, not just your site, but this particular page, they get to understand that this particular page is specifically talking about your German Shepherd and how you can cross it. Okay, so you ensure that in the first in the first 100 words you have German Shepherd and you talk about crossing. So search engines understand basically what your site, what this particular page, not just the site, what this particular page is talking about. Okay, here also. Um, you could, you know, select some instead of making this making this paragraph text. You could make history, 
headline okay, so it's all headline now so what you want to do is just um, you can just say undo ctrl z also works same in wordpress okay so um, let's just let's just take this so that we can create another block of text delete and then take it down and then this one immediately turns to a different block of text where we could change it once i hover over it or i click on it you see it shows that block that shows it's a different it's an independent block of text compared to the paragraph text so here we can actually now change it to headline probably h2 because h1 is reserved for this particular headline here okay so we have this okay and of course if you want to introduce some um, images and all that you could just come here right at this block uh, add block icon okay um, you could add an image of a german shepherd dog okay let's come here and say image and click on that and um, we don't want it here so you could you with this hand so you can you could move it okay once you see that blue line that's the position of where you want your image to be okay so you can just leave it there okay so uh, let's quickly look for an image of a German Shepherd let's go to Google German enter images okay so I think I like this so I'm just gonna allow it to load ensure that before you uh, download any image you see those stuff there and um, you need to let it load properly so you save the image as you want to save it on desktop so that you can easily locate it so you can rename it um, German chef save it get back to your blog okay Upload image, get down to desktop here. Oh, beautiful. So we can caption it if we like, but I don't want to caption it. Okay, and um, the next thing we want to do is uh, want to say alignment, want to align it to the center. Okay, so, so. Um, what else do we need to do? Of course, you've seen there and here. Of course, you, you might just want to move this up. Delete once, enter once. This immediately turns to oh, sorry, back. This immediately turns to a, an independent block of text, as in the first case. Okay. And then beautifully, we have written our first beautiful blog post. In the same light, also you can add videos. Um, if you want to add video, for instance, you have a video, you just want to come here and say video. Okay, so you can add this. If you have a video, you can add a video, of course. Um, Maybe anywhere you want to add a video, you can you can take it up. Add it anywhere you want to add it. So you're all good to go. Okay, so then the next thing you want to do is um, you want to check posts. Okay, and um, you want to check the category. Okay, recall that we're talking about German Shepherd, which is a breed. So we want to click this. So this particular blog posts will be under this category called dog breed beautiful so i will say publish and we have published our first blog post okay so say publish so it's publishing wow it says published view post beautiful this is the first post let's view it how it's looking like wow this is our first beautiful blog post you know, that we've written and looking really, really very cool with 
the 2021 thing okay i am super excited that you got this we're, we're, we're down to this stage okay so ensure that um you uh you, you you try it out yourself it's it's easy as i've gone through if you have any challenge you shoot me an email i send it back to you to remember and also remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, hit the uh, notification button to get alerts when i come up with great videos tutorials and alas drop your comments right now thank you very much i wish you the very best we started out with your blog right here in nigeria cheers